The defeated Sardan Athreus languishes in Revendreth, subjected to the mercy of Zerali, the Naru who he kept in chains for thousands of years. Much is quiet in Revendreth. Zoval's plan to snatch the sigils isn't quite ready yet. It is in this state of relative calm that a watchful raven appears, high on the walls of Oribos, watching, waiting, and eventually journeying forth to Revendreth. What, or who, is this raven? The answer is Khadgar. Today, we are going to see just what our roguish jokester savior has been up to with the power of GlassesUSA.com's latest, the Revel Tune Smart Glasses. But there is more. GlassesUSA.com cuts out the middleman, offering prescription glasses at up to 70% off. And if you click my link down below, you'll get a great offer and free shipping. Now, these bad boys are the Revel Tunes. Honestly, they're pretty awesome. They Bluetooth to your phone, and on these, you can take calls, listen to music, do voice assistant stuff, and all that. And really, I was surprised just how freeing it is to listen to a podcast or do anything without having to have earphones in or headphones on. I also have got these fun goggles because, hey, getting dizzy 12 feet up a bouldering wall when your glasses fall off and hit the floor, that sucks. But of course, you'll have seen my other glasses. I've got my rimless guys. I've got a few pairs of shades from them. Then there's these, of course, which are my blue light filtering lenses I like to use at night. So, glassusa.com are the place to go for glasses. You'll get a special offer from my link in that description down below. And you can also use their scanner app to check the prescription of your existing lenses. You can preview what glasses will look like on your face on their site. And the whole thing is risk-free with a money back guarantee. So thanks to Glasses USA for sponsoring. Let's get into some real fun lore. The fight against the Legion ended, and it was finally time for Khadgar to rest. Having spent the last two years fighting the Iron Horde and Draenor and then the Burning Legion off Azeroth, the prospect of a faction war just left Khadgar dejected. So he left. Returned to Karazhan, he set about living the cozy life, diving into books, fixing up the place, perhaps even polishing off a few novels by the beach. Not that he wasn't actually doing useful things. He set about repairing the curator and himself, then curating Karazhan's many different artifacts. Revel Kost visited to return the Cloak of Purity, with Khadgar noting that he was the angriest priest he'd ever met, and even Matthias Shaw stopping by with Garona's ring. We might be able to touch on the significance of that at some point in the future. At some point, Rathian even dropped by Karazhan, though curiously, there's no mention of him meeting Khadgar. Which is odd. Exploring Eastern Kingdoms tells us that Khadgar is actually living in the tower, so who knows, maybe he was off on some mysterious adventure when Rathian appeared during BFA. Regardless, though, that is the most recent official information on the whereabouts of Khadgar. He's searching for some knowledge, browsing Medivh's vast, vast collection of ancient tomes. As for Medivh, well, the shade of Medivh is hanging around Karazhan, but the actual Medivh is off in some cosmic adventure. One so important that he couldn't even hang around to fight the Legion with us. With these parting words, Medivh flew off into the twisting nether. It may be simpler to shut a door than to pass through it, but sometimes a step into the unknown is required to break the bonds of fate. There is much that lies ahead for us all. Farewell. That was Medivh's parting words to his apprentice. And that is also the recent past of Khadgar. So, how do I know he's in the Shadowlands? Well, let's dive into the real fun. Here it is, a watchful raven. There are a few characters who can shapeshift into a raven, so why would I say Khadgar? Well, if you click in the NPC, you see the NPC is affiliated with the Kirin Tor. Medivh is not a member of the Kirin Tor, right? Khadgar is the leader of the Kirin Tor. So, simple enough, right? Especially since Khadgar does like to use the raven form of a Tish from time to time. So, Khadgar is there as a raven, watching over Oribos. He then flies up 
towards the Ravendrath portal. You might be wondering why. And that's where it's time to kick today's video into high gear. Early Ravendrath questing takes us by the Tower of the Unseen Guest. Unseen Guest, that's a name the Dreadlords go by. And there, we find a Dreadlord spy book. It's the one that reveals the cosmos-wide conspiracy to disable the other five forces via infiltration and disinformation. We went deep into it in this video last year. All this would later be confirmed by patch 9.1, of course, where we see the Dreadlords rescue their now-betrayed master, Denathrius. Now remember here, Medivh primed Khadgar, in his parting words, to worry about the big cosmic threats. And Khadgar has spent his time researching. He'll very much want to get to the bottom of all of this, especially since Khadgar has good reason to worry about the Dreadlords. Years ago, as the Legion's invasion began, Khadgar rushed back to Karazhan, seeking knowledge. And to his surprise, he met Medivh. Yes, there stood Medivh, spouting words of encouragement, convincing Khadgar to absorb his essence and to become the guardian that he was born to be. Such power would be useful. Khadgar sees what he could do with that power, but he knows something is not quite right. Just as he rejects Medivh, Medivh turns into a Dreadlord. A Dreadlord that Khadgar utterly obliterates, sent screaming back to the Twisting Nether. So is it any wonder that we see Khadgar, who had that experience pretty recently with the Dreadlord, travel back to the birthplace of the Dreadlords? If anyone is to find obscure knowledge and latch on to fringe theories like, say, that a loon created the Naru, is it not Khadgar, one of the most learned and big-thinking people in the setting? Speaking of which, the light. During Legion, Khadgar discovered an ancient text claiming that Elun created the prime Naru, like Zira. Why was he researching the light? Well, it was to learn more about Light's heart, which was the strange Naru core that unlocked when brought together with the Tear of Elun. Beyond that, though, Khadgar has seen the Light's influence during Warlords of Draenor, and he likely would have heard of Yurel's descent into authoritarianism during Battle for Azeroth. The Light has been everywhere, and it's in Ravendrath as well, the place that Khadgar is journeying to. The burning light of the Ember Ward is a remnant of an old invasion. There was business between the Light and the Dreadlords of Revendreth. We don't know what actually sparked that invasion, just that some affront to the Light was committed by those Dreadlords, and that the Light invaded in response. That's how Zerali ended up there. So, not only is Revendreth drenched in this Dreadlord lore, which Khadgar should definitely be researching given where the storyline's going, but it's also had a fraught relationship with the Light. And I bring up the light because we have every reason to believe that Khadgar would suspect the Dreadlords. Everyone should. But what of the light? Well, this is where things get a little bit complicated. Khadgar's not the type of guy to be blinded by dogmatism, right? You know, he stands atop Karazhan as the leader of Azeroth's mages. He knows of the cosmos. He has seen the big picture. He's no devotee, right? He fights for the greater good of all, regardless of faction or creed. That's why he stepped back for BFA. Therefore, Khadgar is the sort of guy to see the light with suspicion and skepticism, just like anything else. So he probably, like us, has believed the chronicle account of light and void, knowing that they're sides of a coin. And maybe that would make him think. And if not that, well, I think we can be pretty sure that Khadgar is a skeptic. Here's why. Khadgar fought in the Second War, he journeyed to Outland, he survived Ner'zhul's disastrous portal plan, and he bunkered down. Eventually, you know, forming the Sons of Lothar, uh, meeting Adal, a Naru who only displayed good towards us. Much later, though, he traveled to Draenor, both witnessing and supporting Ural's rise to power. In Legion, he began to research and understand the Light more deeply, and by the end of Legion, he saw something major. Turalian, an old ally of his from the Second War, 
try to kill Illidan. What for? Well, it was for the crime of wanting free will. The crime of not wanting to be forcibly changed without his consent. So not only did Khadgar see Zira, a prime Naru, act in great contrast to Adele, he even saw Turalyon, an old friend, strike out in dogmatic fury. Now, the keen-eyed will have realized that Khadgar wasn't actually in that cinematic, but he was aboard the Vindicar when that happened, so we can assume that he was present, or at the very least learnt what happened. If that didn't make him suspicious of the light, then tales of Yorel's years-long holy war and the plight of the Magkar surely will have. What if I told you, then, that all of this pulls together? Khadgar traveled to Revendreth before Patch 9.1. He will have seen the fate of Denathrius, learned of Zerali, and found the same spy report that we have all read. And that means that Khadgar will be thinking the same things that we're thinking, asking the same questions. Khadgar is right there with us when it comes to speculation, I think. He'll start questioning the past, and he'll start to look upon future events with a new lens. Now, to the past, he will have remembered his encounter with that Dreadlord, and he will have realized that that Dreadlord wasn't just trying to corrupt him to aid the Burning Legion. He will have seen the cosmic spy document and realized that the Dreadlord was trying to corrupt him, ultimately, to aid Zoval. I mean, as the story of Medivh shows, a corrupted guardian is a very useful asset. Then Khadgar, I'm sure, will remember that guy who was also on the Vindicar with him. Lothraxian. Yes, he will remember Lothraxian, the Light Dreadlord. And then he'll ponder this quote. Similar to the Titans, the Naru and their keepers are singular in purpose. Their adherence to a linear path is an obvious shortcoming. They savor nothing more than being proved right. So if they believe they have converted one of us to their precious light, they will trust that agent implicitly. Yes, Khadgar just realized the same thing we did, that Lothraxian is likely a double agent. He will think of their adherence to a linear path, and then he'll remember what he heard of Urel. And as he searches and observes, he will see another key event unfold, the liberation of Sire Denathrius by the Dreadlord Malganus and his allies. Malganus, that Dreadlord who, you know, kinda knew how to corrupt a certain light-aligned paladin, amongst other things. Indeed, Khadgar, the watchful raven, may even have heard this line. The, the scourge, Argus, all the pawns in a game beyond your grasp, one that now nears its end. Yeah. What if Khadgar was listening in during that step of the Patch 9.1 Covenant campaign? Because if he did listen in, and he's a watchful raven and it's Khadgar he seeks knowledge, you know, knowledge is power, then yes, Khadgar just learned that the defeat of Argus, something that he aided, was part of the Dreadlord's plan. He probably heard the Dreadlords refer to Denathrius as their master, perhaps confirming that they serve their sire, not Zoval. Well, you know, with Denathrius clearly being betrayed by Zoval, I think it's clear that the Dreadlords now have a place in the future of the Warcraft setting beyond the story of Zoval. So, what then of Khadgar's future? What role has Khadgar played in Warcraft recently? Simple, that of a harbinger, of a guide, a man who drives the plot forward. Warlords of Draenor would have been impossible without Khadgar. It was he who alerted us to the Legion's invasion. And that means that when Khadgar returns, you can be damn sure he will drive the story forward. Khadgar, I think, now knows of the Dreadlord conspiracy and, like the Prophet Velen, is becoming suspicious of the light. Be it a cosmic expansion that involves his old master, Medivh, or a light expansion with his old ally, Turalyon, and Yorel, I think we can be sure that Khadgar has a major role to play in the future, and as we've covered today, his interest in Revendreth is revealing. I cannot wait for Khadgar to return, and I kind of think I know what's going to happen. So, tune in next week for part two. 
because I don't think Turalyon can be trusted. Thanks for watching. Of course, Glasses USA, they've supported this video, so go check them out if you, like me, are a glasses wearer. Basically, totally best way to get your glasses at a really great price with great service. So thanks to GlassesUSA.com for their support of this video. The link is down below. Thank you to you for watching this video, and let me know what do you think Khadgar is going to do? What do you think he is going to introduce to us when he returns? Thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you next time.